Lastly, today, Ribbon. You know, I guess some of the prior management didn't like games. Uh, because I heard this from so many developers that, that, that they got no support from Apple on games. And the, the current management team really likes games. So <laughs> we, are, uh, we are dedicated to get some great games back on the Mac. And uh, we are working on that very hard. And I think we're starting to see some great results. And it's my great pleasure today uh, to welcome Ram Miller on stage, the creator of Riven. Thank you. I got to uh, start this off by telling you guys I feel a little out of place here for a couple reasons. First off, I usually sit home in Spokane, Washington, in the snow with my family, and I don't speak to like groups of 10 million people. Um, so if you guys will just consider this like a chat, it'll kind of help me. The naked thing doesn't work for me. So just, you know, just have a little chat for me. Um, the other reason I feel a little out of place is because um, um, the people who preceded me, um, you get Microsoft and Oracle and Macromedia, Apple, um, there's a lot of productivity software in there. And in in case you don't know what we do, it's stuff to waste time. So uh, um, it, actually, the way I figure it is, with all the time you'll save using the other products that have just been introduced, <laughs> you, you get my picture there. Uh, it's actually pretty appropriate that, that uh, I'm here, aside from the fact that I don't usually do this, because um, um, well, let me start a little ribbon walkthrough, and I'll explain why. Uh, I'm also a Mac fanatic. We use Macs at the office. Um, yeah. Apple has provided the tools that we need to basically build our worlds. Um, they've been the enabling technology from the beginning uh, that we've used uh, with things like the Mac itself, things like HyperCard and uh, even CD-ROM stuff, QuickTime. Um, those things ha have been the tools that enabled us to build worlds. Now that Apple has announced support for DVD, um, we've got additional tools to build uh, our worlds even better. I'm tempted to stand right in the middle and like raise my hand with that part. I don't get to play it on this big of a screen usually. Um, now those of you who have played Riven will notice something really intriguing right here. Uh, no nasty dialog box comes up uh, telling you to uh, swap CDs because this is uh, the DVD version of Riven. Um, that's the first obvious advantage we have with this new, new tools that Apple is providing us with. Um, Riven comes on five CDs. Um, how many of you used to think that CDs had a lot of storage space on them? Uh, uh, now we can fit those five CDs onto one DVD-ROM. Um, obviously giving us a nice, ad a nice advantage there. Uh, Riven is basically graphics and sound and animation movement. Those are things that, that Apple has always led the way with. Uh, the Mac has always been there doing those things better. DVD at this point serves those things up just a little bit faster. Excuse my pregnant pauses here. I just like to watch. They actually, uh, Riven, Riven does a better job of talking than I do, I think. The, uh, let me just say at this point, the pictures go, go into some of the, some of the thing, ways we use Macs. I know a lot of you have heard that we used SGI workstations for the images, and we did. We modeled and rendered the images on SGI workstations. What you may not know is that every artist 
had next to his SGI workstation a Macintosh uh, at Cyan. We, we, uh, it was an integral tool. In fact, the textures that you see here, whether it's the dirt, the trees, the uh, beetle climbing up the fence post, the wood, the gates, those were all manipulated on a Mac before going over the SGIs. Um, and they were post-processed on the Mac as well. Uh, all the compositing, all the retouching, um, all that stuff was done on the Macs. In fact, I think sometimes the artists couldn't wait to get onto the SGI and back off the SGI. That whole Unix thing kind of confused them. Um, the sounds that you hear uh, were all sampled on the Mac. They were compiled on the Mac. Uh, the music that Robin wrote in many of the locations, he had two Macs, one monitor that had either the, the uh, visual or the, or the movies, and another one hooked to the MIDI workstation to, uh, to actually compose on the keyboards. Um, and of course, what we do without QuickTime, um, all the uh, motion, whether it's from that beetle that was walking up the wall to the live action, to the CG uh, built things that were composited, layered, and compressed um, in QuickTime. Um, in fact, the compression that you're actually seeing here on, the, on some of the movies is QuickTime uh, based, but it's for the CD-ROM. DVD version will allow us to improve that e uh, even more. Kind of a little 60s flashback there or something, I don't know. Um, I've got to say at this point, you know, we started over 10 years ago building our worlds using Max, using uh, HyperCard, black and white world called the manhole. And uh, it, it's, uh, of all the crazy things, we built that world on five floppy disks that later will be able to be combined onto a CD-ROM. Well, it's a little bit of deja vu now at this point to be combining five Riven CDs onto one DVD. Um, at this point, I'm going to stop the exploration. I decided I better let, leave, leave, leave some for you guys to explore if you haven't already. Um, let me end by saying that it, uh, we're excited about the tools we get from Apple and from the people who support Apple. Um, it's, it's what's kept us in business. As long as we get those tools, We'll continue to provide you uh, bigger, better, more immersive worlds to make you much less productive. Thank you. Thank you, Rand. It's a little like the journey we've been on the last six months. <laughs>